What up, y'all? Bank Row Tim, back with a little business. So, well, I said I was gonna get that green four door on the lift. All right, green four doors on the lift. That's been on the schedule for months, okay? Yeah, been on the schedule for months. I got a lot of cars on the schedule for months. I got everybody and their mama calling and woo 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 and wanting to uh, cut in line and this and that. So then, you know what? I let a couple people cut in line. Take care of them because they're good people, shit like that. And then motherfuckers want to cry. And we ain't talking about the customers crying. We talking about the other people involved in the shit crying and this and that. Shit could have been taken care of plenty of different motherfucking ways. So my fault that uh, you guys out there are building fucking cars backwards, okay? Building fucking cars backwards, dealing with fucking places that just want to fucking run you straight to fuck around. I, I at least answer my motherfucking phone. I take care of people. I make sure they know what the deal is. Yeah, there's plenty of times I could have got more work done, but you ain't living your motherfucking life in my fucking shoes. So, slow the fuck down, everybody, all you motherfuckers, the ones that want to keep fucking hating, keep fucking hating. And not a one of you motherfuckers is going to come to me and step to my motherfucking face and say anything fucking stupid. Yeah, this is me, Bankroll Tim, Better Up Cousin, Timothy Burgoyne. Come say something, anybody. Anybody not happy with anything I'm fucking doing, whatever. You know, you shops out there hiding all your fucking broke-ass work. Shit be breaking, struts be breaking on fucking chargers and shit because you motherfuckers don't know what you're doing. Rear end bars be breaking. You see that fucking cross brace right there? That ain't no fucking cross brace out of a kit. That is a fucking piece of tube. Schedule fucking 40. 132,000 uh, thick. Okay? We cut the tubes to fit the fucking frames. We weld them in perfect. We ain't never had no tube break out the damn frame. Oh, you guys out there ordering the kits, using that piece of shit little bar that comes with them, and then you're adding muffler tubing? Muffler tubing you guys are spacing the ends out with muffler tubing and then the shit breaks look at the four-door uh, Let's see AB Gonzalez's old car that four-door Why is it back at Playboy's right now and Playboy didn't do it and I didn't do it But that motherfucking cross brake done broke right out the motherfucking car And if y'all know who did that work then y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about I'm getting tired of all you motherfuckers thinking this that, woo woo. We got full fucking builds going on over here. We ain't got no little girl shit going on over here, okay? We're not a tire shop. We're not a tire repair shop. We don't change fucking struts. We don't change fucking brakes. This is what we do. Custom motherfucking work. You see, this is this side of the shop, okay? Yeah, and you guys know that I got two shops. You're right, I got two shops. Let's see, let's walk right over here and find out what I got going on. People on the fucking list. Look at that. I got rear ends. I got fucking rims. I got cars. This Minnesota car been on the lift, uh, been on the list for what, six months now? We waited four months for the fucking wheels. Orange car just got here. Dude's been on me for months. Dude's a good guy. I'm going to take care of him. Snoop right here in the Bonneville. He's been on me, but he a little lost on what I told him when his car was going to get done. My guy from Iowa, a little adjustments, but I can't even get to this shit because I got to finish that shit. I don't have no big badass fucking team over here of motherfuckers that are just running around doing this and doing that. No. Three of us. That's it. And that's barely three of us. Everybody knows the game. Oh, look. Look at all them fucking parts. Yeah. I buy the fucking parts. I get the shit. All you motherfuckers think it's so fucking easy. Think it's a TV show. TV show. Oh, they got the car done in a fucking two days. Oh, they got this done. Shut the fuck up, man. You guys have no clue, man. No clue. Who gives a fuck what I got going on in my shop? Is it your car in my shop? No. Do you have the right to run your mouth about somebody else's car in my shop and start talking shit and this and that and getting the fucking customers to call me and, and second guess this or second guess that? The fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, I got tons of shit going on. I got plenty of shit out in them motherfucking streets and still gonna have plenty of shit out in them fucking streets. Motherfuckers come, they drop the guab, they don't cry and complain or try to cut me down on the fucking money side and then motherfuckers run around talking about I'm charging all this goddamn money, this and that, blah, blah. Parts cost money. You know what? 
parts is just like you renting a building. Every year the parts go up. You got to start paying more for parts. So what do I do? I pay more for parts and sometimes I don't even charge more for parts. I end up making less just to get the job done. So again, oh, am I going to hear shit about this motherfucking GN? Huh? Am I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch some shit about this GN being in here now? Oh, yeah. Well, these dudes have been on me for fucking six months. Six months they've been waiting to get in. Okay? I ain't got time for all the crybaby bullshit. Betted up customs. Yep. Betted up customs. Bankroll town. They probably ain't even going to let this video play on YouTube. This one. Again, getting full tubbed. Okay? Because somebody decided to quarter notch the whole rail i mean jesus christ if you're gonna notch the rail notch the fucking rail don't half-ass the shit car has to be re-notched because the wheel don't fit but it probably wasn't the guy's fault who did the notch because he probably didn't have the wheel there i gotta have the wheels to do everything every wheel's different the position of the car on the frame you can have the body mount on the frame where the frame is off to the right or off to the left. Then that throws off when we build the rear end. We build the rear end, center of frame, center out, boom. Sometimes one wheel will stick out more than the other and the measurements will be perfectly square on the frame and on the rear end. Then you got the body work, you know? I'm not saying this car, but the body work. The body work could have one side of your car flared out more than the other side or one side in more than the other. So then what are you gonna do? What are you going to do to straighten it out? Oh, everybody says, oh, well, just the rear end the other way. No, that ain't the right fucking way to do it. You center everything up. So the easiest way to do that is you run one shim on one wheel and you don't run one on the other wheel. Oh, well. It's not, I didn't build the fucking car. I didn't do the fucking body work and shit like that. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, there's so many of you guys out there that have no clue what you're talking about. And the best thing for you guys to do is just shut the fuck up. You're not... Stop telling people to paint their car first and this and that. If you guys are going to do an all-out build, you see this GN right here? This is how you do an all-out build. You see this? Boom. Now the car is going to get full tubbed. Now the car is going to get everything that it needs. Then it can go get the motor and all that shit put in it. Then it can come back and get aligned. And if the fenders ain't cut right, you know, we could do the fenders right. Because, yeah, this car is getting 26s and it's going to be sitting low. So the front fender has to get cut. So many of these cars that get built, built right, the fenders... And the back wheel openings get cut. They get enlarged and stuff like that. The car gets painted. And then the owner turns around and says that his car was never cut. Come on, man. Get the shit right. Ain't no 26 fitting on no fucking Regal in the front without trimming the front part of the fender. Trimming. Not cutting and hacked up like all you motherfuckers do. Okay? Trim that shit. Do the shit right. Move it right. Do the body work. And the body guy does a nice job. Makes both front fenders the same. That's good work. Now, you guys that are out there painting cars and you're painting cars excellent, hey, paint the cars. Stick to painting the cars. You can't do nothing else and you tried, it don't work. Just paint the fucking car. Then all you other guys that do interiors and shit like that, do the interiors. Don't talk somebody into doing their interior when they ain't even got their rim yet and they don't even know if their rim's going to fit in the back. And then all you guys saying, oh, 24s go right on the back of G-bodies and you don't have to do this and you don't have to do that. No frame knots and no tubbing and this and that. Shut the fuck up. You want to ride small lips? There you go. They going to clear. You want to ride anything bigger than a fucking, uh, what, three-inch lip? Let's see, to a four, four and a half, five. You got to start getting into tub work. I know because I've been doing this shit for fucking ever. I started in 2006 with the lifted car stuff, with the big wheel car stuff. I started doing all this squat shit out here first. Who wants to call me a liar on that shit? I hope you all take this in, all in, deep in, you know, the way you guys like to take it when you're listening to these motherfuckers talk. Take it the same motherfucking way when you hear me say it. And there it is. You heard it from me. Bankroll Tim. Bet it up. Customs. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, and I'm fucking out.